Hi, my name is Lila, and thank you for joining us for this week's Hill TV episode. If it's happening at Hill, we have it. Let's hear from Ava about the upcoming lunch menu. Here is a look at the upcoming lunch menu. On Monday, there will be chicken smackers with mini pretzels. Tuesday, you will have a choice between taco bar and deli sandwich. Wednesday, the cafeteria will be serving French bread pizza. On Thursday, you, will, you can have pasta with meatballs or plain sauce. And finally, on Friday, you can get wild Mike Bites sauce. Now on the weather with a live look from outside with Allie. Hi, Allie from Out Here Live, and it's cold. On Monday, it will be a high of 29 and a low of 15. It will be a little windy with a 30% chance of flakes. On Tuesday, it will be a high of 26 and a low of 14. It will be mostly cloudy with a 5% chance of rain. On Wednesday, it will be a high of 28 and a low of 16. It will be cloudy with a 5% chance of rain. On Thursday, it will be a high of 31 and a low of 22. It will be cloudy with a 25% chance of rain. On Friday, it will be a high of 35 and a low of 26. It will be considerable cloudiness with a 5% chance of rain. The weekend will continue to be cold with highs only to 23 degrees and lows to near 10 degrees. It looks like the weekend will be cloudy, but only a 25% chance of rain. Now back to the studio to Zoe with a couple of great ideas on how you can get some exercise and have some fun, even though it will be cold out. Some fun things to do is go sledding at the Brockport College, Northampton Park, or here at the Hill School. Another fun thing to do is on the weekends, there is ice skating at the college. Sounds like some fun things to do. Get outside and get some fresh air, even if it's cold outside. Now on to Ari th with this week's Student Spotlight. This week for Student Spotlight is Lydia Hawk. Miss Reinhardt nominated her and says that she comes into the orchestra room during lunch and recess to learn a second instrument. She also comes in 9 to 9.30 when she completes her morning work to help teach students who are having a hard time with, with reading their music. She is nice to everybody and super helpful. Another student that Miss Reinhardt shared that is doing a great job is Alexis Staskowitz. Alexis has been coming in during her lunch for extra practice during the week. She goes above and beyond in the morning rehearsal on Mondays. She will help students she is sitting next to with reading their music. Awesome job, Lydia and Alexis, on proving and helping others with their music. Now on to Eva with a reminder with our ski club members. Hi, Eva here with some ski club reminders. Always remember your ski pass, and if it slides down a lot, then make sure to tell an adult so they can tighten it. Also, make sure you are on time for your lesson or you will have to stay in the whole time, which is very sad. No one wants to see you sitting and not having fun outside, but you have to make sure you're following the rules. Make sure to bring all your equipment so you can keep warm. Other than that, keep up the great work, Ski Club members. Let's have fun this week. Now to Catherine with this week's staff pick. Catherine here with the staff member to recognize. This week we would like to recognize Mr. Broughton. Mr. Broughton is the one who deals with all of us crazy Hill TV kids, videos it all, edits it, and is an amazing teacher. And on top of all of that is an amazing dad and husband to his daughter and wife. Daughters and wife. Mr. Braun has been teaching for 15 years, is located in the Orange Room, room 206, is a STEM teacher, and works with the 4th and 5th grade students. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. What is your favorite place to vacation or visit? Uh, probably the Caribbean. Uh, I've been to the Dominican Republic before, and that was beautiful. I'd love to go to Jamaica or Puerto Rico or any of those places. Sound great, especially right now in the winter. Why did you want to work at Hill? Uh, I really like working with fourth and fifth graders. Uh, it's a great age. Um, they're fun to joke around with, and they sometimes get my humor. And then also uh, still enjoy loving uh, to come to school as well. Do you have any pets, and if so, what are their names? Uh, I have a eight-year-old yellow lab named Draper, and uh, our family loves him. He's what are some things you can tell us about your family? Uh, so I have a wife named Bettina, and we've been married coming up on eight years here this summer. And then I have two little girls here in the background. Uh, this is Harper. She is four years old. And then 
This is Eliza here. She is nine months old, so they keep me really busy and uh, sometimes sleep at night. What is your favorite food? Um, I love all sorts of different kinds of food, but pizza is probably definitely number one. Do you have any hobbies? I'm uh, a huge sports fan. I really love anything to do with sports. Uh, I coach soccer here at Brockport. Um, I love the Buffalo Bills and the Red Sox are two of my favorite teams. Do you have what are Do you like sports and what is your favorite team? All right. Yep, the Bills are my favorite football team. Uh, I'm a big soccer fan too, so Manchester United that plays in England is my favorite soccer team. Thank you, Mr. Broughton, for making the Hill School great. Now something special from the month of February. As some of you know, February is Black History Month, so we would like to honor and educate you on an important African American that you might not have heard about. George Washington Carver was born into slavery around 1864 in the state of Missouri. Mr. Carver became the first African American to graduate from Owaya State University, where he received a master's degree in farming. Carver is also famous for experimenting and finding hundreds of use for peanuts, including lotions, soaps, flour, gasoline, and plastics. However, he did not invent peanut butter, which he is often given credit for. He helped many freed slaves to learn about growing and improving their farming skills so they would be more successful in freed farmers. George Washington Carver was a great scientist and educator and someone we should all look up. Now on to this week's joke to the end of the show. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has a cast. All right, that is it for this week, and thank you for watching.